what's up guys it's Covert Code here and in today's video I'm going to be teaching you guys how to print in your scripts now if you watched the last video I left off right here okay I just opened the script and now we're actually gonna combine our knowledge from the last video and add some new knowledge and use that to sort of you know take apart the script this very simple script and actually teach you guys what it does and how to manipulate it so print Print is a keyword, okay? As you guys can see, it's like this sort of tone of blue. Now, if you guys cannot see um, the dark mode, let me just show you how, how to actually toggle dark mode. So, your studio, if you've never scripted before or actually used Roblox Studio before, is probably white. Now, I use dark mode, it's just personal preference, but I'm just gonna show you guys how to turn it on if you actually want to. Okay, so go to File, top left corner here. Um, move your mouse and click on studio settings, okay? Go on this studio tab right here and scroll down until you find this here. Uh, let me just try and find it here real quick. It's underneath the general tab right here, okay? And you should see team. Now, yours is probably default. If you want to make it dark team, then just click on the dark button here and close and that should switch your teams. Back to this uh, keyword, so print. Print is essentially telling the, the output to display something. And this keyword is paired always with these parentheses, okay? You cannot have print on its own because as you guys can see, if you just put your mouse over that, it's giving you an error. It's a syntax error, okay? Now, if you've never coded before, that might be completely foreign or alien to you guys. And I'll break that down. A syntax error is essentially, um, you know, Code follows a very, very strict sort of way of writing, okay? So, you know, English and other languages have grammar, okay? That's the sort of syntax, you know? They need to follow the grammar or else the sentence will be incorrect, you know? It wouldn't make sense. Um, same thing goes with code, guys. So, if you have the incorrect syntax, so let's say you use an incorrect grammar for your code, the code will be incorrect. And while you might be able to get away in real life if you don't use grammar in code, you cannot do that because uh, if I just click here underneath this arrow here, so just go to any tab, okay, you should see this play button here. Click on this arrow here and just click run, okay? Um, it will give me a syntax error, okay? So whenever you guys see a syntax error, just always keep in mind that it's related to the grammar, quote unquote, of the script. Okay, so stop this, okay? And let's just remove that. Um, so print, okay? This, as I said, is just telling the output to display something, okay? So as you guys can see, it displayed an error here relating to what I had before. If I want to clear the output, uh, I just right click and clear output, okay? Brand new. Now, if you guys want to actually print something, so if I run this, okay, nothing bad should happen, um, as you guys can see. Um, so just stop and go here and anything you put inside the parentheses will be displayed in the output. Okay, so if I want to somehow, or not somehow, for some reason I want to print out the number 20 and I press run, okay, that's going to display 20. Now, not just going to display 20, it's going to display your system time here, okay? So this is the time that you actually printed out the statement. Um, this is the, as I said, if you're printing from a local script, okay, which I'll cover soon, if you're printing from a local script, this will be client, not server, it will be client, okay? But if you're printing from the, um, you know, like the global server scripts that we're actually using, so this here, okay, this will say server, okay, so that's, that's all that means, and this here is the actual script name. So our script is just currently called script. But if we were to change the name to the script of uh, like of the script to anything we want, this here will be the name. And this colon number here is the actual line number. Okay, where this came from. So this is coming from line number one, as it's saying here, okay? From a script called script. Okay, so that's all that means. And this is what you actually wanted to print out. Now, you can print out a multitude of different things, okay? So you can print out uh, numbers like this, you can print out decimals, so let's just print out 0 0.5, okay? You can print out decimals, that's fine. 
you can print out text. Now, the thing with text is you can't just do this, print hello there, okay? Um, you can't do that because, again, it will underline that. It will treat it as syntax unless you put inverted commas, okay? So either quotation marks or inverted commas like this, up to you guys. I personally prefer quotation marks, um, so that's up to you guys, but... You know, just make sure to put it in either one and it will become this color right here, okay? So if I click run, uh, it will print out all of them. Now, again, line numbers here, okay? Number, decimal, and um, the text. Now, it can also print out um, Boolean expressions, okay? So Boolean expressions is very, very easy to understand. It might be somewhat difficult for those who have never coded before, but it's quite simple guys um it can either be true or false okay so it's either true see how it sort of turns into this orangey color here okay so it can either be true or it can either be false okay lowercase okay so those are keywords as well so boolean expressions always keep in mind it's either true or false if it's not true or false then it's not a boolean expression now if you want to get slightly more complex, um, by complex I mean, you know, more annoying, I guess, or if you're just, you know, more thrilled to learn, you can also use continuations, as I like to call them, okay? So you can actually combine these things together, okay? So if I wanted to do this, so print, uh, if I want to say, hello there, okay? So I just said hello there, but what if I want to actually say, I don't know, 22 after that. I could just put it like this, you know, that would print out this entire thing as text, okay, because I'm using the quotation marks, or I could use a continuation, which is two periods, okay, as you guys can see, two dots, okay, and just use 20, for example, and that is continuation. This will print out hello there, exclamation mark, space, and 20, okay. So it's just telling the program that you also want to print out something else. As you guys can see here, hello there, 20. Okay, just do some random things, print out random stuff, print out your names, print out your usernames, print out anything you guys want to get used to how this works. Never forget these parentheses, that's quite important, okay? Um, make sure that you actually write this word for word. You can't do print with an uppercase because that would not be the keyword, okay? and. If you're using text, always use quotation marks, okay? Don't forget these because it will give you an error, okay? So that's it for this video, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.